So today we got the car up on lift and we're putting in this silly, silly trailer hitch. All right, there's the draw tight part number. Now check out this crappy weld job. So not only is this piece here twisted that way, but this piece is twisted that way. Shitty weld job. I almost did not install this son of a... You know what I'm saying. All right, so on to the wiring harness of this Kurt kit that you read online and everything is plug and play. Simply remove a back panel and they got these fancy Y connectors and it gets power right off of the turn signals and the tail lights. Well, that's not the case because surprise, they want you to run wire from the battery all the way to the back. So what I did instead is said, nope. This requires 12 volts, 10 amps max. It just so happens on the back passenger side, I have a 12 volt, 10 amp max accessory port. So they go through the trouble to make these fancy Y adapters for the tail lights and the left and right turn signals. I sure wish they would have done the same so you could splice right off of this. So what I did is the same. I made my own splice. I broke the circuit here. The blue wire is positive 12 volts. In this case, this box, the black wire is positive. Kind of bass backwards. So I ran the jumper straight to there. Barrel connector. You can solder it, heat shrink it, crimp it with some barrel connectors, tape it up with some electrical tape. Should be fine. So you're like, well, wait a minute. You can't do that because the instructions clearly state that this black box has to be mounted on the driver's side because you've got driver's side turn signals and passenger side turn signals. Well, all you do is reverse the input. The wires don't care. The circuit doesn't care what color is what. As long as you're turning on your driver's side turn signal, this green wire will normally would normally go to the passenger side. That's why they give you extra wire. Well, in this case, everything's mounted on the passenger side. So now this is going to go to the driver's side. So when the signal is applied here to the green wire, it's going to go to the yellow input. That's the driver's side. So just reverse the two here with some barrel connectors. You're already using a barrel connector here. Just buy a couple more different size gauges and just crimp them up. Make sure they're really good. Mount this, tidy up your wires, and everything should be fine. No need to run a wire all the way to the through the firewall and to the battery. You can tap off a fuse panel if you want, but still too time consuming. Actually, I had some barrel connectors here, butt connectors, figured I'd just do this. Do it right, should be safe. And the 10 amp fuse that it comes with, it's already there's already a 10 amp fuse in the circuit for the cigarette lighter plug, so already fused in line, ready to go. Hope this helps some people that are trying to wire in this harness. Alright guys, we'll see you on the next one.